रहीम असल आप देख रहे हैं सी एन न्यूज और मैं हूँ आपका होस्ट मोइन अहमद नाजुन बरतानिया भर में इलेक्शन के ऐलान कर दिया गया और चार जुलाई को बरतानिया भर में जनरल इलेक्शन होने जा रहे हैं तो हम अगर बर्मिंगम की बात करें तो बर्मिंगम बरतानिया का दूसरा बड़ा शहर और यहाँ के जो मसाइल हैं वो भी बहुत ज्यादा हैं अगर हम बर्मिंगम के मसाइल की बात करें तो यहाँ पे अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट जो है तकरीबन एटी एट परसेंट जो वार्ड्स हैं बर्मिंगम के वो डिप्राइव वार्ड्स कहलाती हैं और सेवन परसेंट मोस्ट जो डिप्राइव लोकल अथॉरिटी है वो उसका सातवीं सात नंबर में शुमार होती है और उसके अलावा फोर्टी थ्री परसेंट चिल्ड्रेन जो है वो पॉवर्टी में रह रहे हैं इसके साथ साथ जो अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट का रेट है वेस्ट मिडलैंड पे नाइन पॉइंट वन लेकिन बर्मिंगम में फिफ्टीन पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट है तो ये जो कुछ इशूज हैं जो कि अक्सर जो आवाम है वो अपने नुमाइंदों से चाहती है कि तमाम इशूज़ को एड्रेस किया जाए तो इस हवाले से आज हम बात करेंगे कुछ जो लोग इलेक्शन में हिस्सा लेने जा रहे हैं उनसे लोगों का तकाजा ये है कि जो हमारे मसाइल हैं अवामी मसाइल हैं जो लोकल अथॉरिटीज के मसाइल हैं वो हल किए जाएं। हमारे साथ स्टूडियोज में मौजूद हैं अहमद याकूब साहब जिन्होंने वेस्ट मिडलैंड मेयर के इलेक्शन में हिस्सा लिया और सरप्राइजिंगली सेवेंटी थाउजेंड वोट सिक्योर किए और लोगों ने बहुत ज्यादा सपोर्ट की क्योंकि जो इनके इनका जो स्लोगन है वो इंटरनेशनल इशूज पे भी है और लोकल इशूज पे भी ये बात करते हैं तो हम इनसे जानेंगे कि लेडी वुड कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी में जो ये एम पी कलेक्शन लड़ने जा रहे हैं तो इनकी क्या मोटिवेशन है और लोगों के मसाइल को ये किस तरह हल कर सकते हैं Ahmed Yakub thank you so much for giving us the time thank you very and, much for having me uh, so first of all i would like to ask you that uh, what's your motivation to being an mp because you are currently working as a as a solicitor as a criminal solicitor so do you say that like uh, what's your motivation to perform as a MP? my motivation is the failure of other politicians the failure of true representatives the failure of someone the people or having someone the people can relate to we have career politicians now that have grew up in rural areas outside of birmingham they they are not from the inner city areas and quite frankly they don't know about the struggles within the inner city areas of birmingham i am a relatable individual i grew up within the inner city areas of birmingham and now is the time that people want an alternative to the mainstream political parties and i am here to provide that okay can you have some you know uh, persuasion to the on the legislation that you know the issues of gaza it will have a direct effect on the people of birmingham yes there's a direct effect and there's an indirect effect as well the direct effect is this that you've just spoken about there are 43% children uh living in poverty yeah there are unemployment issues the highest in the west midlands here in birmingham there are record number of food banks here record number of homeless people here whilst our government is sending money to arm israel that's the direct effect because that money those funds can be used to combat all those issues that you've mentioned and that I've just mentioned as well hmm. those funds can be used to get rid of homelessness those funds can be used to improve employability those funds can be used to take children out of the poverty line or above the poverty line that's the direct effect they are focused more on arming israel than looking after their residents within birmingham within ladywood mm -hmm. now you have the indirect effect the indirect effect is that of humanity anybody with an iota of humanity has to feel something for the people of gaza with me wherever there is a injustice i will speak up i'm a human rights lawyer and i've been speaking up about these kind of issues and injustice injustices all over the world for years i've been doing it and i know the people of west midlands the people of birmingham especially the people of birmingham and especially the people of ladywood would want an immediate ceasefire we've gone past that now we don't want an immediate ceasefire we want an immediate ceasefire but we want to recognize the state of palestine as well so that's the indirect effect okay and uh, also there is uh, some sayings in the community that you have been in circle with the asian community always 
in your social media videos, TikTok videos, because you've been known for your TikTok videos. And recently you've done a, uh, started a campaign as well. So there is a less presence of the white people, uh, even they, maybe they're living in the Ladywood constituency. So are you just a representative of the Asian community or you're going to be with the other people as well? No, look, just to call everybody communities is causing division in South. I represent the people of Ladywood, whether they are Muslim, whether they are Asian, whether they are Christian, whether they are white, whether they are Afro-Caribbean, whether they come from the Sikh faith or any faith. I represent the people of Ladywood. Now, coming back to your question about no people of white background being on my TikTok video. During the election campaign, we used to upload almost 10 to 15 videos on a daily basis. So a lot of people took out what they wanted to take out, but they won't take out, for example, the video where I went to Ladywood Church and did a speech there, mm -hmm. where there was not one Asian person in sight. They won't show you the videos where I used to go around Chardent and campaign where there was no Asian person in sight. They won't show you the video where I was in Coventry campaigning with the socialists mm -hmm. and there was no Asian person in sight. So people are just, you, you're going to get, the, I'm going to get this anyway. People are very um, hypocritical and there are a lot of labor moles and labor spies all over the place. Uh, and they will try to discredit proper candidates. And that's what they're doing. They're just trying to discredit me. The Birmingham as a mayor and the police and uh, Simon Foster as a police crime commissioner. So will they cooperate with you if you're opposing labor all the time? Well, it's not about opposing labor. Funds are allocated ac according to constituencies and the MPs will be allocated funds from the central funds regardless of who the government is. And our aim is not to have a labor government in power. Our aim is and that Labour do not get a majority in the elections and we take seats from them, the Labour safe seats, so they don't have a majority and we have a say in the policy making process. Okay, so as you're opposing uh, the uh, candidate Shabana Khosr, so Mahmoud. how do you Shabana Memo, sorry, so how do you say that she's not very convinced on the Gaza issue as you are, or she's not being the voice of voiceless? As a Muslim, so we Gaza all issue. Have... The Gaza issue, Shabana Mahmoud hasn't done anything for the people of Ladywood. It's not just a Gaza, Gaza issue. The people of Alam Rock are not happy with the traffic situation. The pe people of Borsal Heath West are not happy with the NHS waiting list. The people of Borsal Green are not happy with the education services. The people of Ladywood are not happy with the rubbish collections. The people of Soho and Jewelry Quarter are not happy with the their parks. For example, Summerfield Park being neglected. I can go on and on. I can be sitting here all day telling you about the people of Ladywood not being happy with Shabana Mahmood. And it's not the Gaza issue. She's been around for two terms. What has she done? Unemployment in Ladywood is the highest uh, or one of the highest within Birmingham. There's a murder almost every couple of weeks in Ladywood. Uh, what has she done? All right. So you think that you are going to be the very useful uh, MP for the Ladywood as compared to Shabana Mahmood? So of course I am. Like I said, Shabana Mahmood, I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know her background, but she doesn't live within the constituency. I've lived within the constituency all my life. I work within the constituency. I have an office within the constituency. And when elected, I will be opening a office when I say when not if inshallah when elected I will be opening the office within the constituency and saving the people of my constituency I will not disappear for five years like she has nobody's seen her right. now she's out campaigning you know yeah okay so Mr. Uh, you can give any message to the audiences about your campaign or slogan so I urge everyone to support the independent candidates they will be receiving my support within Birmingham so long as there's only one independent candidate per constituency, because we don't want to split the vote, uh, they will be receiving my unequivocal support so long as there is only one candidate. And in terms of my plan, when I am going to be elected as an MP, inshallah, 
is improving what labor has caused already cleaning up the mess that labor has caused improving our educational system improving the nhs addressing the issues of parking around the inner city areas addressing the issues of fly tipping and rat infestation around the inner city areas of Birmingham, being a voice for the voiceless people who have been neglected for far too long in Birmingham and Ladywood. Participated in the West Midlands mayor election, which uh, definitely has a whole area with a lot of authorities and the rights. Now, from the West Midlands mayor to the MP of Ladywood constituency. So does it affect your slogan, which you are trying to, you know, for the people of Birmingham, you are trying to do the legislation and the right to work, right to work, especially for unemployment and everything. So from Birmingham to Ladywood, will that affect your slogan? We know you're not happy with your current representative, but what are you going to do about it? Are you just going to sit at home and watch the news when you see beheaded babies, when you see Rafa being bombed, when you see other NHS on the knees when you see all the parks in ladywood closing down when you see stabbings on the streets of ladywood every day when you see the congestion in alum rock building up when you see the nhs waiting list time for borsal heath west i can go on i can go on with what you guys are not happy with but now is your time to make that change and that change can only come by way of the ballot paper show your frustration by way of the ballot box and the ballot paper, it will be more powerful than any protest or demonstration that you have ever been to. Remember that this is your future MP of Ladywood. Yes, you have seen that Ahmed Yaqub said that the current government has been a great way to address the problems of the people and to address the problems of the people. And they say that if they are elected as an MP, they will open their constituency and open their office and they will hear the problems of the people directly. Sunenge. ताकि जो भी प्रॉब्लम्स है लोगों की वो इन तक पहुंचे और इसके बाद जो है वो हुकूमती जो एवानों तक वो पहुंचे तो इनका कहना यही है कि आप वोट के लिए जरूर निकलिए 4 जुलाई को और वोट की ताकत से को इस्तेमाल करते हुए दुनिया भर में जहां भी इनजस्टिस हो रहा है उसको खत्म करने की कोशिश करें तो हमें इजाजत दीजिए अपना ख्याल रखिएगा